Hey guys, it's Reyna. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you guys my baby soft skincare routine, how I get really soft skin because I get a lot of compliments in real life, not on the internet because y'all can't feel my skin. But a lot of people tell me I have really soft skin and I just decided I wanted to show you guys how I get really soft skin. I will also be showing you guys my skincare routine. So if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps support this channel and it helps with the algorithm. So let's just jump straight into this video. I'm going to start off with a cleanser. Now I'm starting off with shower gel. I always do my shower gel before my body wash and this is Eco Love and it is in blueberry, grape, and lavender. It has no parabens and it's 100% vegan. It's definitely a fave. I love all of their shower gels, but this one is particularly my favorite scent. Next product that I'm using is the Raw Sugar Cold Pressed Vanilla Bean and Sugar. This scent is so good for every single day. I love how light it is. Like, it's not a strong scent. It's a very much an everyday scent. So I'm just following up my shower gel with my body wash. Now I'm going to grab the body scrub that I'm using. It is a hand and body scrub by Nubian Heritage and I absolutely love it. It will be listed down below. It is a new addition to my body products family and I absolutely love it so far. It has rose hip seed oil which is one of my favorite oils ever. So I love this so far and if you guys want to check it out, click the link in my description box. And I'm really excited to show you guys that I'm selling exfoliating body gloves. This will be on my beauty website probably next week. It will be pinned down below in the comments if you guys want to check it out after I launch the site. I have one in pink and then I also have one in yellow. And they work so well. You guys are going to love it. And I love to use these gloves once a week because I exfoliate my body once a week and I just love how easy it is to use. It is definitely one of the top reasons why my skin is so, so soft because you need to exfoliate at least once a week to keep your skin soft and these gloves really do the job. But hold on, I have something else that's going to be on my beauty site and this is going to be a body brush. Now I use this for the rough parts of my body and it gets the job done. Like I like using the gloves all over my body but I like using the brush on like my elbows, my knees, places like that. You can use it all over your body, it has the same effect but I do like pairing the two together.
You always want to exfoliate before you shave, so make sure you exfoliate your whole entire body and then you shave. I'm using the EOS Shea Butter Shaving Cream, and this is for sensitive skin. I have very acne-prone and um, eczema-prone skin, so I use only products that are meant for sensitive skin. Now after my routine, I need to moisturize my skin, duh. So I'm getting my oil moisturizer. This is for extra dry skin and it seals in moisture for 24 hours, which is a plus. So that will be listed down below. I always, always use this right after I get out the shower. It has sunflower oil, jojoba oil, and marula oil. So it is definitely a favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my routine for my face. If you guys did not know, I have really sensitive skin and acne prone slash eczema prone skin. And I'm also really, really allergic to fragrance. I did take a patch test so I know for certain that I'm allergic to fragrance. So they'll tell you a specific type of fragrance that you're allergic to in your patch test, but on labels, like behind products and things, they don't list the specific type of fragrance that they're using. So you never know what products with me. It's kind of, I have to test and I have to see what works for me and what doesn't and just stay away from what's not working for me. But for me, I only use two cleansers. So I'll either use the CeraVe, which is what I have now and I'm gonna use in this video, or I use the Cetaphil. Honestly, I really like the CeraVe a lot better than the Cetaphil and I use Cetaphil like my whole entire life but I think the reason why I really like the CeraVe is because it's so moisturizing like Cetaphil kind of feels like it's just sitting on your face and CeraVe is super moisturizing and I have dry skin so this really does come in handy so what I'm just going to do is just rub that all over my skin and I'm gonna go ahead and wash that off 
After washing my face, I am going to get the Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Toner. What I love about this is I just love the smell. I love the smell. This does have vitamin A and glycolic acid. The reason why I'm using a anti-wrinkle toner is because once you get wrinkles, you can't revert back. Now, if you want to get cosmetic surgery and Botox and things like that, of course, it'll help you with wrinkles. But once you get them, there's no way naturally to just get rid of them. So it's best to kind of use anti-wrinkle serums and products while you're young. And this toner is 100% vegan, which I also love. I'm going to give this toner a longer try before I recommend it for you all because I've only been using it for a while. So I need to give it some more time. I will definitely update you guys and let you know if I am liking this toner but so far so good I do like it so far and it just smells so good I've used glycolic acid before in another form it was actually a cream that you put overnight after my toner and my routine is super simple you guys because like I said I'm very prone to acne and eczema and I've just learned that less is more for me but right now I'm going to be using this organic rosehip oil. I've been using rosehip oil for forever. Rosehip oil is really really good for hyperpigmentation and dark spots and you always want to get an organic version. But I just put a little bit, it's really not much. And I'm just gonna rub that into my face. my rosehip oil I'm gonna go ahead and get my sunscreen so this is the Neutrogena pure and free baby sunscreen I know some women of color say that they don't like white sunscreens because it leaves a cast but sunscreen is really important and there are some brands like I recently found out about this brand it's called black girl sunscreen and if you're of a darker complexion I've heard that it works wonders and you literally just, you can't even see like a cast. I'll definitely link that down below so you guys could check that out if you're interested. I, I'm thinking about purchasing it, so that's why I'm telling you guys. With my sunscreen, I do mix in grapeseed oil. Y'all know I like my grapeseed oil just a little tad bit. I just find that it helps with the cast. So I always mix in a little bit of oil. Organic oils just do really well with my skin because like I said, I don't put on a lot And I keep my routine very very simple This personally works for me and if you're allergic to a lot of stuff like me like I'm allergic to so much stuff This probably will work for you You don't need a super detailed skincare routine and if you find that you kind of get breakouts for using new products You may also be allergic to fragrance I do recommend getting a patch test with your dermatologist because it will just bring light into what you're allergic to and what to stay away from. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.